uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to repair a thread the problem we have is um, the hole uh, right here is stripped out so we need to repair the thread for this hole uh, this car is uh, Mazda 3 2006 and the problem is uh, in the tensioner bolt this is the uh, serpentine belt and this is the tensioner for this belt and this tensioner should be fixed by three bolts um, these two bolts and this is the third one and the problem we have in the third bolt here the hole for this bolt is stripped out so we need to uh, repair this hole uh, you have different options to repair a thread um, according to my research uh, the two best options available is uh, the heel coil and the HHIP um, so I bought here the kit for the HHIP um, the heel coil is also uh, in the top of the list but it is more expensive than the H uh, HIP so I bought this uh, 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 repairing uh, kit um, and let's see how can we do this repair uh, okay so as a first step uh, um, we need to remove the tensioner um, to repair the hole uh, uh, then uh, the first uh, thing to do is to remove the belt and then remove the tensioner so in this car uh, this is Mazda 3 2006 we uh, we need a half inch uh, socket to release the tension on the belt okay now we um, remove the belt from the tensioner and then we are going to uh, remove these two bolts these two with a 12 millimeter socket uh, here is the tensioner and this is the three uh, locations for the three bolts and uh, these are the two, two bolts we removed and this is the third one that we wanted to uh, fix it uh, now we can start the uh, thread repairing um, mainly the thread repairing is uh, to make a hole a new hole with a new uh, drill bit uh, with a diameter greater than the original thread diameter and then after uh, doing this hole uh, you can use the uh, the tap comes with the repairing tool to tap the new hole and then uh, insert this coil one of these coils that comes also with the repairing tool in the in new tabbed uh, hole and after that you can put the original manufacturer bolt so basically it is uh, three main steps the first step is to make a hole second step is to tap the new hole the third step is to insert the uh, coil comes with the repairing tool so let's start with the first step to make a hole the repairing kit comes with its uh, drill bit uh, in this case um, the drill bit is 8.3 millimeter because the bolt we have is m8 uh, and make sure uh, while buying the uh, thread repairing tool kit uh, to buy the one that matches with the thread you want it to do in our case the thread is M8 1.25 so uh, we bought the, uh, the kit spe uh, special for this kind of thread uh, in this case uh, we are going to make a hole in the uh, engine block itself so there is no uh, option to do a mistake so first uh, we wanna to check the depth of the hole uh, 
you can use the vernier caliber if you wanted to be very accurate or any uh, thing to measure the depths and we should put this depths on the bed to make sure that we are, are not exceeding the depths of the original uh, hole okay here I put this tab uh, on the drill bit so I know this is the depths I want to do in the for the new hole uh, in this case the the space we have here is very uh, tight so we bought this L uh, ex uh, this L section extension for the uh, for the drill so we are able to access the hole um, and make sure while doing the uh, the new hole to be uh, nice and straight uh, because there is no way to make a mistake in the engine block itself okay so here we did the uh, the hole uh, I'm not sure if it is clear enough or not but you can see there is uh, a new hole right here uh, in this and then the next step is to uh, do the new thread using the uh, threading repairing tool uh, before uh, starting threading the new hole uh, make sure that the hole uh, is uh, clean from inside uh, here we are doing the threading for the new hole um, we inserted the the tab and rotated it uh, till it reached to the end of the hole and then we will rotate it uh, counterclockwise to get it out from the hole okay, finally we get the tab out of the hole and then the new thread should be ready uh, for the um, for placing the um, the tool the threading tool let's see what's the next step uh, after cleaning uh, the new thread uh, properly uh, we will use the the uh, the coil so um, the coil will go inside here uh, like this way And then start inserting the coil inside the new thread. Here we inserted the tool and we are keep going uh, rotating it clockwise. You can see here the coil is inside and keep rotating clockwise till the coil reaches to the uh, appropriate location uh, have a look from inside you can see the coil uh, some of the uh, some of, uh, part of it is stretched because it uh, starts to go inside the, the thread we did and the other part uh, still not stretched uh, so keep going uh, Here you can see we inserted the the coil uh, So the next step is just to insert the uh, the bolt you have and Here as a last step we just insert the bolt and now it is strong and tight uh, And for sure it will not go all the way down because the tension should be right here so this should be enough for this bolt uh, here we returned the tensioner uh, as it was and now we inserted the uh, the new bolt right here and you can feel how strong it is it is super tight as exactly as the other bolts uh, now the next step just return everything as it was uh, return the serpentine belt on the bully 
and um, I think we are done uh, thank you for watching uh, if you found this uh, video uh, helpful uh, please like the video and share it um, and subscribe for my channel for more videos uh, thank you and see you in the next video